so in yet another multiplication technique let us try and understand how do we quickly multiply any number by 11 it is very easy technique and uh, if you use it uh, you'll be able to save a lot of time while doing calculations in your regular problem solving so let us take examples and understand uh, how this technique works so let us say I have to multiply a number 46 or rather let us start with a you know easier number will go to uh, complex calculations as well so let us start with a number 42 and multiply this number by 11 so how does this technique work is simply this you take this 2 and write it here okay then add 2 to 4 so what do you get 6 okay write 6 here and then the 4 which is remaining put it back here so the answer is 462 you can try using a calculator and validate the answer let us take another example let us say we are multiplying 33 with 11 okay so what will happen you have to write this 3 units place 3 first here then add this 3 to this 3 what do you get 6 and then the final 3 here so 363 is the answer once again let us take some uh, some more examples so let us say 53 into 11 okay now again what do you need to do you take this units place number 3 here then add 3 to 5 what will you get 8 and then what is left this 5 back here so 583 okay another example let us say 62 into 11 what do you get first this 2 here then 2 plus 6 is 8 write that 8 here and then 6 back here 682 is the answer now I started with an example 46 now I will take how to do uh, multiplication of 46 by 11 there is a slight difference here why because you will start as usual and write this 6 here okay but now when you add 6 plus 4 what do you get 10 obviously you can't have two digits here so you will take 0 of that 10 and let's take carry 1 now in the usual process you would have written 4 down here but then since it is a carry here 1 so you add 4 to this one and hence you will write 5 so answer is 5 not 6 or 506 okay let us take another such example so let us say 76 into 11 now similar thing so if you see this 6 comes here no problem now 6 plus 7 if you do you get 13 so obviously you have to take the units place of 13 here units digit and then what is the carry 1 write it here 1 now 7 had to be written over here now instead of writing 7 here you add this 7 to 1 here and write 8 so answer is 836 one more example let us say we have 59 into 11 okay so again start with 9 right now add 9 to 5 what will you get 14 so 4 will be written over here 1 is carry now you have to write 5 down here but then you add 5 to 1 you'll get 6 and hence you write 649 now these were all two digit numbers let us take some three digit number or four digit number like that let us say we have 123 to be multiplied by 11 same process is here also you have to just repeat one few steps more so hence this is 3 here then add 3 to 2 what do you get 5 so 5 here then add 2 to 1 what do you get 3 so write 3 here and what is left 1 so 1 is back here so answer is 1353 3. right so so quickly in your mind if you have enough practice you'll be able to do these calculations in your mind itself let us take another example so 323 into 11 All right so 3 and then now 3 plus 2 5 so write 5 2 plus 3 is 5 again so write 5 again and then this 3 comes back so 3553 3 is the answer let us take one four one more 2 4 3 1 into 11 okay so what is it so you start with 1 then add 1 2 3 you'll get 4 then add 3 to 4 you'll get 7 and 4 to 2 you'll get 6 and finally 2 this 2 will come here so 2 6 7 4 1 how quickly you are able to do just see now let us take a little complicated one so 247 into 11 okay why compli complicated because there will be carryovers so let us say we'll start with 7 yes 7 
Now 7 plus 4 is 11. So you write 1, carry 1. Now 4 plus 2 was 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7 and then 2717 once again. So I wrote 7 first. Then 7 plus 4 was 11. So I wrote 1 of that and then put 1 over as the carry on 2. Now 4 plus 2, if you do 4 plus 2, you'll get 6. But you had carry also 1. So 6 plus 1, 7. And then finally, the last 2 will come down and it will be 2, 7, 1, 7. You can, you can try and calculate by dividing it. So if you see, if you divide 2, 7, 1, 7 by 11, you'll get 2, then 4 and yeah, it's 2, 47. This is how the technique works, right? Let us take another example to understand it better. 1, 3, 5, 6, 7 into 11. Okay. So hence, first what? 7. Then 7 plus 6 is 13. So 3 here. Then 1 is here, left over, right? Now 6 plus 5 is 11. Plus 1 is 12, right? And then again 1. Now 5 plus 3 is 8. And 8 plus this one is 9. And then 3 plus 1 is 4. Isn't it? 4. And then finally, this one will come here. So the answer is 149237. Let us check whether we did correctly or not. 149237. Let us try and divide it by 11 to see if we got the same or correct result or not. So if you see, what is it? 11 times 1 is 11. So that is 39. Then 3 times 33. So hence we have 62. Then 5, 55. Then 7, 7 is the remainder, 73. So this is 6, which will give you 66. 7 left and 7 is the remainder again. So again, 7 times 77 and you get nil here. So 13567, right? So that means we have calculated here correctly. Can you see how easily you are able to multiply a number by 11? Now let us take one more interesting problem. 291042 into 11. How do I do this? So hence, again, to start with, 2 will be the first digit here. Then add 224, you'll get 6. Write 6. 420 is 4. Then 0 to 1 is 1. Then 1 to 9 is 10. So 0 will be here and then 1 will be written over here. Now 9 plus 2 is 11 and then plus 1. The above carry 1. So 11 plus 1 is 12. But then you'll have to have 1 as carry. And the last digit which was supposed to be written over here is 2. So ends, but there was a carry. So 2 plus 1 is 3 to 3 so hence the result is 3201462 again i'll repeat this because it is little critical so 291042 into 11 how do i do it so take this 2 down add 2 to 4 you will get 6 420 no problem here 4 0 to 1 you get 1 1 to 9 you get 10 right 10. Now here is where you need to pay attention. 1 plus 9 is 10. So carry 1. So write 1 here. Now complete this sum. 9 plus 2 is 11. Plus carry this 1. So 11 plus 1 is 12. Now 1 again. Carry is 1. Now this 2 was to be supposed to be written down over here if there was no, if it was a usual method, but usual case rather. Now in this case there was a carry 1. So this 2 plus this carry 1 will get you 3. So the result is 3201462. Now, in the same line, you can use the same principle to solve our problems like 32 into 1.1. Let us say 1.1. So, you know how to do it. So, you simply ignore this decimal point and multiply by 11. So, you'll get 352. Now, since there was one decimal point after one digit, so hence the answer will be 35.2. Exactly how many uh digits are there after decimal in the result also same number of digits should be there after the decimal let us say it is 421 into 1.1 so how do i calculate ignore this decimal multiply by 11 so it is 1 3 6 
4. Correct? Now, 4, 6, 3, 1 is the answer. But then there is a decimal. And after decimal, there is one digit. So, 463.1 will be the answer. Let us take another case. 342 into, let us say, you have to do 0 0.11. Now, same thing. But there, after decimal, there are two digits, right? So, ignore again. This decimal has to be ignored. Multiply by 11, you'll get 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 7. And this 3 will come here. So, 3. 3, 7, 6, 2. But there were two digits after decimal. So, it will be 37.62. Okay. This is how you can use this technique to multiply either by 11 or 1.1 or even for 0 0.11 or 11 into any 10 to the power n can be done using this technique.